Man, we just got off the water, wrapped up FLW stop number five, beautiful Lake Cherokee, right over my shoulder. Absolutely love this place. No, anything in North East Tennessee or East Tennessee for that matter, and I absolutely love it. Especially when you get to add in that we're chasing around brown fish, it made me feel right at home attacking smallies. Uh, when I got here in practice, I, I didn't quite know, I've never been here before, I didn't quite know what the fishery was setting up for, if they were gonna be pre-spawn or spawning. And I quickly found out that they were basically in a pre-spawn. There's some spawning going on, some largemouth up river, uh, but some of those, most of those smallies I found were definitely in a pre-spawn thing. And, as we, you know, we always have that off day in FLW and that can hurt you, it can help you, but it definitely seems to change things. And on our off day, it was like 83 degrees, calm and sunny. And those fish hit the bank. And I gotta admit, I got real lucky. I went out, I had boat 10, so I got to get at it, get at those fish right away. I was attacking three spawners and I was throwing a number seven wrap with a shad wrap. You know, I threw a swimmer some, but in practice, I just got my bigger bites on the shad wrap. And I was using the Shimano X Pride rod. This is a seven foot light plus. Anytime I'm moving a moving bait, I love the Shimano X Pride. I was using the Shimano Xens 4000. This is with 10 pound Power Pro SSB2. I love this line. And I was using about an eight pound Seeger and Viz Explorer carbon leader. Again, I mentioned I got lucky because I had boat 10. I, I ran right to a, a spot, an island that I had, caught two right away, a 310 and like a 3-2. Ran to another island, caught another one quick, sitting with like three smallies for 10 pounds and 45 minutes. And I sat on those fish until about noon. Uh, finally ran way up a creek, pegged off two largemouth on a shaky head. It was apparent that my bite was dying, that pre-spawn thing was going and I was gonna need to make a big change. I came in with like 14, low 14 pounds. Uh, I was sitting like 47th and, and I was a pound out of 30th, but a pound out of 60th and not even getting a check. So sitting good in the points, I was pretty nervous coming into it. I knew I had to make a change. Uh, right away the next day I got at it. I figured those fish around those same areas, around the same islands I was fishing. But instead of attacking the pea gravel with the shad wrap, instead I turned for the rock. I looked for where these smallies are gonna spawn and I attacked it with the Ned Rig. This is the brand new Outcast, perfect Ned head. I helped design this bait. I got a lot more coming on it. Uh, it's an awesome head, great hook. It worked flawlessly for me in my first tournament with it. Just using a little Z-Man Ned, great bed bait. A couple hours I worked up a 16 pound limit. That jumped me up after day two into the top 30 cut. From there I knew I was in, I knew I had a good time. So today I did the same thing again. I just ran around with the Ned rig. I used my favorite rod. My, I think that's my favorite spinning rod ever made. This is the NRX 872. It's a 7.3 medium. It's kind of like a mag medium. Awesome for the Ned head. Uh, again, same Shimano Xsense reel, the 4000 with, again, the same Power Pro SSB210 to an eight pound leader. And I just ran around aimlessly today. Anywhere I thought a smallmouth might be spawning, I threw that Ned rig in there and I caught him. I broke a couple off, but that's gonna happen when you're fishing those big boulders. And in the end, I weighed 14, 12, finished this tournament in 22nd, sitting great in the points. It's been an awesome year. Well, we got two more events to go. Lake Chickamauga, Lake Champlain, probably the two lakes that I just got super excited about when I saw on this year's schedule. And I'm hoping I can just go there and do my job and finish this year out strong. But definitely excited for where we're sitting at. Get to go home, quick break, then we'll be right back down here to East Tennessee for Lake Chickamauga, which is guaranteed to be a slug fest, I promise. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Check me out at YouTube at Josh Douglas Fishing, and check me out on my website, of course, at joshdouglasfishing.com. Tight lines.